Hey, I'm Gareth from Park Cameras, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wacom Intuos Pro. So this is a drawing tablet for your PC or Mac, but it can be used for loads of different things. So I know a lot of people who use it for editing photos, which is essentially the kind of direction we're going to be looking at it today. But loads of people use it for creating graphics, digital drawing, things like that. Things that I'm probably not qualified on talking about, but I know it's very, very popular for things like that. Today, we're gonna take a look from a photographic standpoint, so essentially editing photos in things like Lightroom and Photoshop using the tablet. But I know loads of people who swear by these tablets for all kinds of things. They use them for just general use, certainly editing and graphics and everything like that. So there are people out there who use these day in, day out. Now, personally, this is my first time properly using. I have dabbled in the past, but nothing major and certainly nothing for uh, editing photos. So this is a kind of a first for me. I have already set it up and I have been having a bit of a play, so uh, I'm not completely novice, but uh, certainly this will be an interesting kind of dive into this because we'll be going through it together. But first things first, let's talk about what you actually get in the box. Now we've got the tablet itself, which has got a nice bit of weight to it, feels like a premium product as well with its slim design, but we'll come back to that. You've also got the pen, which again we'll come back to as well, and the USB-C cable, which can be flipped depending on which hand you're using with the tablet. You also get this really nice pen holder, which you can lay the pen actually on or inside, and you can also open it up to reveal more nibs. Now in terms of installation of the tablet with your computer, it really couldn't be easier. I just plugged it in with the USB-C cable that was provided, I downloaded the driver from Wacom's website website and I ran it and that was pretty much it. It then did everything by itself. I was able to use the tablet straight away to control my computer in the same way you would with a mouse and then you get access to things like the Wacom desktop app which allows you to customize things with the tablet, buttons and loads and loads of different things. So it's a very very straightforward process in terms of setting it up. It took me probably no more than about two or three minutes from opening the box. In fact I'd go so far as to say it took me longer to open the box than it did to actually set it up with the computer. So that's an indication of just how easy it is to actually set up, or how bad I am at opening boxes. Now the tablet itself has eight fully customizable buttons on it, and you can use them for pretty much whatever you want. They have certain settings kind of set up when you first install the tablet, but it is incredibly easy to go in and change that in the Wacom desktop app. And you can change them for different applications. So you can have one set up for Lightroom, for example, and then one set up for Photoshop. You've also got a fully customizable touch wheel on there as well, which you can use for things like increasing brush sizes, scrolling, and all kinds of different things. In fact, you can actually have four different functions mapped to that touch wheel that you can easily just quickly switch between on the fly. You can even customize how much of the tablet you want to be using with your pen. So if you're finding the tablet a little bit too big to use normally, you can actually go in and set the size of the surface that you want to be using with the pen. Now speaking of the pen, it is a big part of what makes this setup so great. It has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which means it's incredibly responsive to how you're using it. And that actually makes a big, big difference. So let's say that you're painting in a layer mask or you're using an adjustment brush, how hard you're pressing will determine the level of opacity you're using. So you can essentially draw in very gently and have a very low opacity, which is such a, an obvious thing to talk about, but it makes such a big difference when you're doing it. Coming from a mouse, it just feels so good. It's also super comfortable for longer use. It's very intuitive in terms of the controls on the pen. So things like right clicking, double clicking and things like that. Now from a photo editing perspective, I can see how people can quickly turn away from their mouse, especially if you're using adjustment brushes and spot healing and various things like that a lot. Now in terms of actually using the tablet, once you've got everything set up, it is a really nice surface to work on. It does take a little bit of getting used to if you're used to a mouse, but, and I keep saying this over and over again, it is really intuitive. It's really straightforward to get to grips with. And the reason I keep saying intuitive is because number one, I can't think of any other good words to describe that feeling. But number two, it is just incredible how quickly you kind of just get to grips with it, pick it up, and just start using it as if you've been using it for years. The surface of the tablet is pretty smooth. It's certainly not rough. 
like you might find on some others, but ultimately the pen felt right on the surface, which is the important thing. It certainly never felt too smooth or too rough, and frankly, Wacom have done an excellent job of getting this spot on. You really feel in control while you're using this surface with the pen. So obviously I was using this for photo editing, so nothing like graphics or digital drawing, which I know loads of people do use these for, and frankly they look fantastic for that kind of thing, but I am not an authority to speak about that. So we're gonna stick to photo editing for this time. So let's start off with Lightroom. So in Lightroom, adjusting the sliders, like contrast, highlights, shadows, things like that, is a lot like using a mouse. There's not a lot of room here to show off how the tablet works, but when you get to adjustment brushes, they are definitely a thing that makes a big difference. It is super easy to draw very precisely where you want the mask to be. And because of that extremely good pressure sensitivity, as I mentioned before, you can easily apply as little or as much opacity as you want. It really feels like you have incredible control while you're doing it. It makes painting on adjustment brushes and kind of feathering that out yourself very, very natural and very, very easy. Now, when it comes to Photoshop, for me, this is where the tablet really shines in terms of photo editing because there's so much that I do with the mouse that is actually a lot easier when done with the tablet. So healing brushes, clone stamping, all that kind of stuff is so much easier using the tablet. Dodging and burning for portraits is such an easy task when you're doing it with the pen. It feels incredibly, and I've been saying this a lot, intuitive to draw in things like when you're dodging and burning. To actually draw that in yourself is very, very nice. It feels so natural. Things like spot healing brush, going over and just taking out blemishes or removing larger things from photos is so easy using the tablet. It also makes things like masks really easy to use as well. So painting in a layer mask is very, very easy. As I was mentioning earlier, I was painting in a sunset gradient that I just wanted to use to enrich in the kind of colors that were there already. But it was so easy with this because of the, the pressure sensitivity, I was able to just, just slowly work my way around until I had it exactly looking like I wanted. If you do a lot of retouching or if you do a lot of your editing in Photoshop in particular, this is a tool that gives you such fine levels of control. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but after not very long at all, you'll be wondering how you ever did some of this stuff with your mouse. I can totally see why some people start going to tablets and then they never come back to using their mouse. The levels of customization in this tablet as well also serve to make it a proper tool for you to use exactly as you need to. Now, if you have any questions about the Wacom Intuos Pro at all, pop them down in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you liked the video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.